Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, figured I'd started doing some some vlogging with the cars and the vehicles and some how-to videos. So I figured I'd at least give you a better introduction into what I have for vehicles. That way you guys know what to expect on the channel. So the first one, one of my personal favorites, is my 1999 Yamaha R1. It's a 1000cc crotch rocket. It's got some miles on it. I can sit in at like 46,000, something like that, which is kind of a lot for a crotch rocket. Um, I haven't done a whole lot to this. I've just put a new tank pad on it. Got some new passenger pegs. Um, I put new tires on it. Um, got my cell phone holder. I do need to still upgrade my my levers. I got gold levers on a red and black bike because, you know, why not? Um, I did change out some of the hardware. It's supposed to be red. They're obviously sun faded. I've had the bike a couple years. I've got my red visor that used to be wrapped. I unwrapped it and found this glorious little beast. I like it. I think it looks cool. It's got new mirrors. Um, done some new seals and stuff. Nothing too crazy on this yet. I replaced a, a stator and rectifier, which is kind of, kind of like an alternator in a car. So there's that. Next, one of my biggest projects is my 2003 350Z. Most of you guys have probably seen this. Uh, the only thing I've done is obviously a couple stickers. I am a member of Zosiety. Just got that sticker put on today. It needs a bath. Don't judge me. And obviously it needs some cosmetic stuff done as well. I'm gonna do some work on the motor. That'll come as we can. Z1 Motorsports, shout out to them. They got some amazing parts inside. NRG quick release with a, I believe it's a hold fast steering wheel. It is quick release aftermarket stereo, six speed manual. It does have an aftermarket shift knob, but that's nothing, you know, overly crazy. Missing some paneling here. Not a big, not a big deal. Might actually do the, uh, I believe it's an 0506 center console conversion so I can get some cup holders here because that one kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Um, pretty, pretty clean interior. The seats need some work. I eventually plan on replacing them. Obviously it's a daily driver, so I got some stuff back there. Um, A little bit of what I know has done to it since I bought it. Right. Okay, so here we go. Pretty much stock underneath. Does have a cold air intake. Um, does have the notorious oil leaks, as you can see. That's a work in progress. Uh, missing a battery cover. Not a big deal. All cosmetic. It, it runs pretty well. Obviously, it's got some oil issues, which I don't know if you can see down in there. It's kind of wet down there, but we'll take care of that in due time. Neighbors driving by. So this will be something that we'll get fixed later. Stock wheels, nothing fancy. Stock tail lights. Do have aftermarket uh, signal and reverse lights. Obviously missing some hardware here and here, but I do have replacements. We'll get to that later. I did replace the struts because they are notorious 
for going out. Oh, look at that. Watch out, antifreeze bottles, they get large when they're warm. I will deal with that a little bit later. Um, haven't put the carpets in. Just don't really have any plan to. A little bit dirty back here. Obviously, I, I do daily drive it. Missing all of the interior panels for the trunk and also one of one of the stoppers. I'll be getting a new one eventually. And we've also got the rear rear wiper delete right there. Another sticker. Not a big deal. Alright, so I'm gonna stick that back in the garage for now just because we don't need it right now. All right, oh, while I'm in here. So here's the plan for the new emblems. All black, black handle for the car, as well as a number of other modifications that I obviously want to do. Don't mind the vacuum. Gonna be cleaning the car here pretty soon. I'll also pick up that bottle before you get a chance. Also, one more thing. does have straight pipe exhaust. So that is something that I will take into consideration later. Might just do a dual, I'm not sure yet. Last vehicle, my kind of winter, winter vehicle slash dad vehicles, my 09 Silverado. Does have aftermarket rims, but they're not oversized. It does have tow mirrors, those are aftermarket as well. And tonneau cover and my oopsies. Had my trailer down, or had my hitch down, driving with the trailer, turned the corner, smashed it all up. Hit keys to lock, unlock it, because I'm a genius. Not bad, not bad. I got way too many vehicles. Again, this needs washed as well. So, a little bit in here. I mean, pretty, pretty stock. It's your typical 09 Silverado. I believe it's like 2007 to, uh, let's see, 2012 or 2013. I can't remember. It's my kid vehicle, so yes, it is messy, and I have a car seat. Don't judge me. It happens when you're a parent. Um, those are the three vehicles that I'll be working on extensively i guess so to speak uh some of the there there is another vehicle that you may see from time to time and that is my wife's uh 2013 dodge caravan again one of the family vehicles it's the ones we the van and the car are the two vehicles that we use when we are taking the kids anywhere Anytime we do any traveling, stuff like that. Obviously, we don't travel a lot with a pickup because gas is just insane right now. Um, bike hasn't been taken out a whole lot just because I don't get a whole lot of me time lately. But it happens. Um, not a whole lot of modification ideas for the bike. Not a huge, huge, huge concern for me. The car, on the other hand, I've got a parts list that would probably make a lot of people sick. Um, that's going to be something where I'm doing, you know, rims, possibly body kit, or at least a front lip and diffuser. I'm going to do spoilers. I'm going to do a lot of modifications to the motor. I'm going to completely rebuild the motor. I'm going to get an all new transmission, swap that out, new racing clutch. All the components that go with that, master cylinder, slave cylinders, uh, uh, window tint, I will be doing tint eventually. Um, I'd like to find all the interior panels again and get them all replaced and back to factory. 
at least for now I might strip it down later I don't know so my my main goal is to make it a semi-powerful street legal daily driver that I can also take to shows so eventually it'll be a two-tone black and green black rims it's gonna have tinted headlights tinted taillights possibly change up the exhaust and then I mean a lot of cosmetic stuff so to speak um, I want to do a different steering wheel do a different shift knob I currently have a um, e-brake knob coming it's gonna be kind of a black and green interior just to match the outside the truck oh with the car I also eventually once I get the motor kind of where I need it to as far as making sure that you know it's not leaking anymore making sure that it's it's gonna be strong and you know get gaskets replaced and you know make sure the timing chain is good all that fun stuff I eventually want to get a supercharger for it um, I'm leaning more towards a Vortec if anybody out there has any better options or any uh, any ideas what could be better let me know I'm definitely willing to do some shopping see what I got it's probably not gonna be something that's gonna happen overnight obviously uh, just starting out just starting out the moto vlogging just starting out the car vlogging um, gonna start working on some how-to videos stuff like that obviously it'll be something that gets better as the equipment gets better as of right now just using my phone I have a s22 ultra so video quality should be good however I'm not 100% sure how the audio is gonna be so if audio is all jacked up please let me know I can get work on getting that taken care of eventually we'll be getting a, a GoPro 10 oh let's see what else the list goes on and on with the car um, aftermarket struts front lip side skirts rims tires coilovers I mean you name it and this car is probably not gonna have anything on it that's not touched at some point or another I also haven't decided if I want to do a wrap or if I want to do paint with the two-tone that we'll kind of figure out from as we go um, I showed you the, the black emblems and the black uh, door handles that will be installed later and I will try to do that with you guys the truck I'm not gonna do a whole heck of a lot to the truck just yet just because at some point I do plan on, plan on trading up so I'll pay off this I'll pay off the truck and take it in you know get it appraised and use that as a trade-in to for something newer eventually I'd like to have a newer pickup put some bigger tires on it lift it you know make it look nice nothing crazy because it's obviously gonna be my daily driver for my for my kids and myself and my wife especially in the winter I do have it's hard to see for the pickup stashed back here uh, I don't know if you can really see it so that's what they look like but they are they are a matte black color um, eventually I haven't decided I'm either gonna keep them and just put normal size tires on it and just use them as like summer tires use the others as winter tires or I'm gonna put bigger rubber on those and keep the other ones for street probably I haven't decided yet we'll figure that out as we go but I figured I would at least give you kind of a rundown of what I wanted to do what you guys kind of plan on seeing and I also want to do some how-to videos on how to fix things how to change things stuff like that um, a couple of the other things I guess that I did fix on both my pickup and my car I did front wheel bearings on both I did not videotape them I should have uh, car is pretty easy truck a little bit harder because they've got the front axle nuts but all in all both of them not too bad um, yeah, that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy kind of watching the evolution of the channel I will still continue doing some of the gaming stuff as well 
I would just like to do some more vlogging, some more real life stuff, and a lot more car stuff because I really enjoy building the cars. And I got a couple of big projects coming up, a couple of the smaller projects as well, but I mean, it'd be a learning experience. I can learn, I can teach you guys, and we can all kind of learn together, I guess. But with that, I, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to get my house cleaned up, get my yard cleaned up a little bit better, and possibly go wash my car. Get that all cleaned up, looking nice. Um, it actually looks like it's going to rain, so that probably won't happen today. Damn it. I don't know if you guys can... Eh, it doesn't look real great. Starting to cool. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm looking forward to working on the vehicles and kind of bringing you guys along for the ride. Uh, if there's anything specifically you guys would like to see on the channel or with the vehicles, definitely let me know. Um, when I get my GoPro, there will definitely be like ride-alongs and, you know, I'll, I'll post up the camera while we go for a cruise or whatever. Uh, we also did start a local uh, car club crew thing, so you probably see some footage of that. As long as obviously they agree to that, that's going to be under their own discretion. But uh, we'll figure it out from there. And until next time, we'll see you guys. You guys have a good night.